Hey guys, welcome to my cooking channel. Today we are making a vegetarian ramen with mushrooms. Ramen is originally from Japan, and, but they imported the noodles from China. So here we start with the noodles. Soya sauce, sweet Asian sauce. This is gumasio, and you crush it with a mortar. Butter, spring onion, some oswald cabbage, carrot, the mushrooms itself, and ginger, and four eggs. From the cooking gear, I use cutting board, basics, the knife. You can create a set like this eventually. But this is more for some experienced stuff. But the most important thing is the knife itself and some basic equipment to cook. I use this one. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands and they're very strict with uh, gas because with gas I can cook preferably better even with fire. But um, yeah, in the Netherlands we have huge rates and probably in other countries as well. So we use this. You have to adapt your equipment for that because uh, yeah, on electric or ceramic, it uh, needs some other uh, stuff for that. I use, a, this is a wok and just a basic uh, pan to fix it. This is gomasio, which I explained earlier, which I crushed with mortar. Uh, this is basically a sesame seed mixed with some salt. It's very common in Japan and they use it for the ramen dishes and as well as other dishes. If you're Japanese, correct me if I'm wrong. Basic in the kitchen, you can use a water cooker. I have the luxury to use this machine. This is called a cooker. You can get directly hot water from out of it. So I use this for the eggs. Here we put it on. And for example, approximately seven to eight minutes, you can uh, get a good hard boiled egg, which we need for this recipe. Put it on the highest fire and here you will cook the mushroom bouillon, but in this case the vegetable bouillon. Crush it, stir it a bit and eventually get a good taste added to the recipe. Please note, please note, um, yeah, like I'm not Asian, this is not an original ramen recipe. I'm just doing my best in the Netherlands, especially for these times during Corona with single fathers or uh, young guys trying to make it out. I have a lot of guys in my circle who ate microwave or get some kebab or something like that. It's nothing wrong with that for a couple of times, but you have to be healthy these days. So it's good to uh, make your own dishes. And it's, uh, I got inspired by the Netflix program Cooked. I highly recommend you to see that. There they explain it why it's so important to cook yourself. So this was an inspiration for me. I did it before a lot, but uh, yeah, I'm just a basic uh, father like uh, most people just trying to cook for his family. And uh, I show what I make and every time it will be a different dish and I will explain the heritage and things like that from, that, from out that. Yeah, the next step is the ginger. You have to do it like this with this machine. I'm not, a, I honestly don't like it. I'm more of a guy who cuts a lot. And this can get quite frustrating, but it's a better effect sometimes for the recipe. You can see the result in the, in here. It can get re, it gets really nice. Yeah, in the in the Netherlands currently we're in lockdown. Every shops are closed, so uh, the restaurants are closed as well. So if you want to try and impress your lady, it's better to cook yourself. Uh, I do it really slow right now. This is quite an easy dish to make. So, and you can find online also for Raymond recipes. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I just, I just cook some things and I like to share it with you guys. I hope you can share your recipes as well. See what you guys will make. Yeah, as you can see, it will get into a really nice result. Yeah, first video, my son is filming. Usually I would use my GoPro for that, but he's charging. So next time I have to figure out how it works. I bought that thing like five, six years ago. Say I will, I will use it on vacations, but I never have used it. Such a shame, so I should use it properly. Yeah, like I said, in the Netherlands there's a lockdown. Everything is closed, even the gym. So you have time enough to uh, fix some nice meals, especially in the weekends. I use a lot with the mortar. I really prefer that. 
see I like to work organized. I have everything like in categories. And um, yeah, always keep like a, a empty bin for like a trash bin for your vegetables. This is like the carrot. Always, always cut it in two, two kinds. Here, two on the end or the beginning. And then you simply take it to the barber. Yeah, I use this, uh, this thing. You have a lot online about this. Yeah, as you can see, I have bandage around my finger. Accidents do happen in the kitchen. Try to have an emergency kit with you because you can cut yourself. In, in this case, it was this damn bugger. I don't like it, but yeah, we use it for the recipe for a better uh, ginger result. Yeah, throw it away. I also like to know, think to know how my you, how the viewers think about certain things. This is an open top. Eggs are finished, so I empty the hot water and cold water instead. And you can just leave the egg for a while in the cold water. Garlic, I use one way just to cut it. Basically, I do it like this. By the way, my GoPro has been charged, so the movie quality will differ right now. I just use the, I cut the end of the garlic, like this. And then I crush it. And when you crush it, you can simply remove everything from it. You can choose, you can also uh, buy like a garlic crusher. I don't like these things, so I just cut it. Cut it like this. It's one way, like I say, use the cloth because it can go really bad. Now, keep everything together and I do this style. This is usually how I cut. I think it's the best way. You can make it really nice. Garlic is like the basic in every dish. It's really healthy as well. It has some good, we call this antioxidant. It's good to cook with garlic, also a lot. One of my favorite dishes is the aglio olio pasta, which is just simply garlic and, and some, I think, uh, some other recipes as well, ingredients. Garlic parsley, that's the word what I was looking for. Parsley, pasta, and the chili flakes. Best recipe in my student times. Here you can see how nice together this is. So, put the fire high. You always need to make the fire. You know, we used we add the part of the carrot and this is what I did stupid I mentioned to you that you have to use the white parts but yeah you can pick them easily from each other add the white parts they said so that's basically what we're doing the lighter parts we're adding into it And let's make something out of it. Yeah, if you want to have the best ramen, you have to go to visit Tokyo. That's where it's like expanded, the ramen. Noodles imported from China during the war between Japan and uh, China. And the Japanese take it with them. They call it dragon dragon noodles they referred the Chinese as dragons don't ask me why but that's how they mentioned it like with a wok you can stir I prefer this style you have the equipment to use this you just throw it towards you and like this 
Impress your lady. Act like an Asian with this. No offense, guys. But they are the pros in this mess. And they are the pros in this. This will go on and on. Easy dish. Just high temperature. And keep going with this. Full of vegetables. This is a vegetarian ramen. Usually they use chicken, pork, fish. You name it. You can see a lot of it online. But today is vegetarian day. I use that two times a week. Vegetarian. Usually one time or two times chicken. One time beef and one time fish. It depends. Sometimes more. Eat a lot of... Uh, Especially when you are visiting uh, relatives or friends that, that cook different. I think it's really hard to tell them like, no, I don't want that to eat that cake or something like that. So I'm... I'm like adapting, but when I'm home, I usually cook healthy food. Like when you're alone, you can follow these steps really easily. It's not that hard, you don't need luxury equipment. I have the most basic equipment which you need in the kitchen. You don't need it. You can see it turns... You have to wait like the mushrooms is most recognizable. It will get softer and smaller. When you use a lot of mushrooms, be aware, you can get water out of it. This is quite a dry mushroom. But when you cook pastas, you can see water coming out of it. In this case, the wok is high fire, doesn't give the chance. Like I stir right now, I use a mix of stirring in this. But you see the mushroom getting softer. The carrots get, they get less, that takes long carrots. And the onion just goes with it. I think it's a nice dish to cook with your family. In the weekends I use harder dishes, sometimes easy as well, but I will cook every day, realistic style. I'm not making fancy shit for you and telling you how to do it like a professional cook, I'm just telling you how to fucking cook. Whatever you put into your body you are, eating vegetables, meditating, sporting, reading good books. Do the best in your whatever you like to do. You have a positive life, even in these times. I think it's really shit that you cannot do anything. Usually I travel a lot, but yeah, now I do this. Two sauces. Sweet Asian sauce. It's a mix of, this is like soya sauce. This is basically the same with some brown sugar. In the cooking world, always use brown sugar, not normal one. Not the white one, I use brown sugar with it. Sometimes a little bit of cinnamon to add a diff you know, to add it, like a nice taste to it. We throw it in it. It's a mix of salt and sweet, a beautiful mix together. And just stir it. Like when you, you heard the sound, the high fire, in this case I use, I call it fire, I'm still old school, but like the sauce comes in it and the sound of the steering, uh, of the boiling, uh, the heat stops, changes. Like, I have it now on middle temperature because else the, the, the juice gets away. And with Raymond you don't want that. You want the juice to stay, so I keep low fire. With a wok sauce, you can do high fire. It goes in in the noodles, for example. But here, I like it like a little bit juicy. Like, Raymond is officially a soup. This is like European variant that I got. But officially, it's a soup. When you have to wait, 
low fire, cover it, and just wait. It's not an issue. Noodles got cooked for like four minutes, but what I usually you combine it, so I did it for like four minutes, so it's quite good. Bam! With, with the bouillon, add it. And some more water as well. So it will become like a certain soup. Soup needs to be cooked. Cover it. Like I say, basic shit. This doesn't even fit. I forgot to add this as well. This is the cabbage. I don't do measurements. I just check if there needs to be more water or not. Of course I will share it in the description. And here we just wait. This is basically like a soup, a thick soup with noodles. Raymond is also known with the instant noodles as well. But they have so many E numbers. It's me in four minutes. And then we can enjoy. Well, it's done. Basically, this is like a noodle soup. I like it less wa uh, with water, so let's fill it up. Masio. Nice.